I am doing a November reset and I've never done one before. We're now already 11 months into 2023. To say 2023 has been challenging is really an understatement. I don't think I've shared a lot on what's been happening. I pretty much have just restarted my YouTube channel and I want to try and stick to posting weekly. I've already posted on Tuesday this week and I really wanted to do a November reset because I started the year with lots of goals and ambitions and plans for how I was going to make 2023 successful. That obviously didn't happen. Unfortunately, in February, I was laid off from my full-time job. It really did not set me up for success. It really through a spanner in the works. I really felt that I've now gotten my life on track and it has only taken 11 months. I felt inspired. I really want to see if I can finish 2023 off strongly, much stronger than it started. Let's just recap a bit of the year. I am in gym wear. I am hoping to make a Pilates class, but let's see how long this takes. And if not, it's okay. I will just do some other exercise, but first, some coffee while I get chatty you and share a little bit more about what's been happening. So hopefully I can post this today. Today is the 1st of November. And if not, I might be posting it a little bit later in November, but that's okay. I really just want to put something out there so that I can be held accountable. I really want to make sure that I can do a December reset. I really want to kick off 2024 with a better version of myself. Let's just recap 2023. For anyone who is new here, my name is Caitlin. I am a South African living in the US. I just moved to Atlanta. I have already lived in San Francisco and Denver and some of my past few weeks vlogs, I've just been documenting moving to Atlanta and my goal is to try and remain consistent post every Tuesday. So if you are liking what you're seeing, please do subscribe. This is just going to be an extra vlog because I really wanted to post a November reset and share with you what I'm trying to achieve in November and hold myself accountable because I've been all over the place this year and I'm sure a few of you have felt the same. January started amazingly. I don't have my phone, but I created a little vision board. I will insert a photo here. I think I used the app Maldive, Maldive. I use an app and I will also insert the name here. I use an app to basically create a vision board that I've been using as the background to my phone. And basically it's showing images of health, wellness, travel, some goals on luxury products that I've been wanting to get. And pretty much, I wanna say none of that has happened. So January started off strong, went into February, and unfortunately I was let go from my full-time job, which was obviously devastating. And it definitely took me a long time to get my confidence back and Obviously, I was one of thousands that were unfortunately being laid off. I was very lucky and I was able to go back home to Cape Town and I spent seven weeks with my family. So I went home from March until May pretty much. Between then, I was looking for a new job, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I was just full in interviewing, not thinking about anything else. I was really not motivated to create any content, which was so sad because I love creating content. I do it for fun. So I pretty much stopped posting on my Instagram, on YouTube. Uh, I haven't figured out TikTok yet even though I, I do post on TikTok. So I've just really lost a lot of motivation to create content and create content consistently. In June, I got offered a full-time position. I accepted that. And during that time, my sister really needed me. So I actually deferred my start date and I only started in July so that I could go and visit her. And I was in Dubai for two weeks in June which was an incredible experience. I feel very fortunate that I was able to spend the time with her and explore a place that I've never been. If you've never been to Dubai and you need some motivation or inspiration to go, 
definitely look at my Dubai vlog. It was really an incredible experience that I can't wait to go back. The coffee, food, everything, incredible. Just top service. So I was able to go to Dubai in June and then I started my new job in July. As soon as I started my new job, my husband and I then decided we were gonna move from Denver to Atlanta. This has been a long time coming. We definitely were aligned. We wanted to move. We had our reasons, but starting a new job and moving and packing. And at the time he was also traveling. I was traveling for work. It was a lot. I didn't even mention this, but between all that, I was training for a marathon. I was training for my first ever marathon. I had gone into Chicago marathon last year. Ed, who's my husband and I, we entered together into the lottery. I only got a spot, he didn't. I was training for that between traveling and finding a job and everything that was going on in our lives. So that was a lot. And then we had to also be back in South Africa for a friend's wedding. We were part of their bridal party, which was a huge honor, but it just fell in a time that wasn't great because we had to move to Atlanta before we went back to South Africa in September. And we had to move, we had two weeks gap, then we were in South Africa for three weeks, got to spend time with friends, family again, which was incredible, but I was also working. So I was working East Coast hours from South Africa. If you don't know this, South Africa is six hours ahead of the East Coast. I basically started my mornings, well, I started, I started my afternoons at around 12 p.m. in South Africa working. That's about 6 a.m. on the East Coast. And then I would go until like 8, 9 p.m. at night. It was manageable, but it's always hard working like that because you pretty much have a full day, wake up normally, and then you have a very long day into your evening and you basically are not able to kind of settle, recover from, from the day, kind of just reflect what happened in the day and truly settle before you go to sleep. It was just kind of all mushed together. And then we came back and as soon as we came back, the Chicago Marathon was the first week in October and we jumped on another plane and we went to Chicago, which was incredible. I finished my first marathon. I am truly grateful that my body was able to carry me to the finish line. I'm not too sure if I will do another marathon, but we will have to see. I have given you a full, <laughs> full history of my life over the past 11 months. And now that I don't have a marathon, I'm not traveling, I'm not doing any personal travel, I really want to get back into a proper routine. First thing that I have been doing, and I've been doing it now for over a week is a full health reset. I'll dive in a little bit more to that. I love watching resetting videos. There are a handful that I've been watching. I was inspired by this one YouTuber and let me get her name. Watching Alexis Aldrich. She really inspired me to do this November goal setting. I did want to do it in October. I just wasn't in the headspace. I have taken a few tips from her. I basically am using the same platform that she's using, not sponsored or anything, but I am trying to see if Notion works for me. So Notion is basically a planning platform and you can have a variety of different pages to create like weekly goals, habit tracker, a calendar, you can fit in health, fitness, workouts, you can put tracking for you. It's not automated, but you can definitely plan what you want to do on a weekly, monthly, and yearly basis. Obviously coming in from a monthly and weekly basis, which is fine. I'm gonna wrap up the last two months of the year very strongly and feel good about what I've achieved in 2023, one of the hardest years for me personally. I've just used a template from Notion and it's a life planner. It's got all these different pages from goals, travel, morning, night routine, all the way to meal plan, recipes. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be using all of those. So right now I have kind of set goals and travel and probably self-care as the three pages that I'm going to be using. Do not jump up there. Yeah. 
So for this week, my goals are to exercise four times, have a bath. I think I'm gonna do that on Friday. Post YouTube on Tuesday, which I really did. I got my nails done. See, can you see my nails? I can never focus on them. But I got these cute like pumpkins on my nails and I finally found someone that I love in Atlanta. So that makes me happy. I am then, I've got on my list to kind of try a new coffee shop this week, unpack a box. We still have three to four boxes that I need to unpack. And then I need to book my Paris flights because my sister and I are going on a trip to Paris, which we are so excited about. We have been talking about this for probably two to three years, maybe even more. Those are my weekly goals and I'm going to do that every single week. Then it's split up into like personal, social media, work, study, and financial. I'm not gonna show you the work, study, and financial piece yet because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to achieve from that. For me, on a per, on a monthly personal, I really want to try and exercise four times a week. Because I was training for a marathon, I was sticking to a running plan. So I was running pretty much three to four times a week. And then in between, I was doing high intensity training at F45 in Denver. And then I was also mixing Pilates as well. So I was very, very active. And right now I'm not active and that's okay, but I need to get back into trying to exercise four times a week. I have only exercised on Monday and today's Wednesday. We will exercise today and then I will get two more exercises in for the rest of the week. Another goal of mine is to read four books. I do have a yearly goal of 50 books. Not too sure if I'm gonna achieve that, but I think I have read so far 32 books. I've got a long way to go, but it's okay. Because we're in a new area, I really want to try a new coffee shop a week. I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to explore Atlanta. I know Atlanta is really big. We are going to get out of our comfort zone and we are going to try and find new places and new coffee shops. For anyone who doesn't know, I do have a coffee Instagram, which is very much dedicated to all things coffee. Whereas my YouTube, I kind of want to keep it to life wellness, beauty, all things that I love. And I'm no expert, but I just like to share. For anyone who has a cat, you know. I briefly touched on this. I really wanna do a health reset. I think one of the biggest challenges that I've had moving to the US is that I have slowly gained weight. And that's just because I have not been careful with what I'm eating. I've not been as active as I probably w was before moving six, seven years ago. But then also I've realized there are so many hidden sugars and additional ingredients to so many American products that I, first of all, thought were healthy, but then reading and spending time educating myself I found out there's been a lot of hidden sugars that I've just been consuming. Hidden sugars, hidden dairies. So right now, I'm doing a whole health reset. So pretty similar to the whole the tea thinking. I'm not following it to the T, but I am trying to reduce my dairy, reduce alcohol. I'm pretty much not having alcohol, dairy, processed carbs, and sugar. Though this weekend, I had avocado toast and I enjoyed it and it brought me a lot of joy to go out and have an avocado toast at a beautiful cafe with my husband and that's okay. But typically during the week, I'm trying really hard to not have sugar, dairy, alcohol, processed carbs, cook at home as much as possible. I'm really good because I obviously work from home. So I have been cooking breakfast, lunch, and supper, Monday to Friday, reducing takeout completely because since we've moved and if you've moved, you know, you just are trying to unpack. You're not thinking about eating well and you are just trying to survive. And that's okay. That's just the season that you're in. You're just trying to get what you need done. Doing a whole health reset and I am doing this up until Thanksgiving because I thought, why not? This is the perfect time to do a health reset. There's not much going on. Thanksgiving is the main thing. And when it becomes December, I want to do all the festivity things. I want to go to all the cute cocktail lounges that's going to be popping up that are Christmas themed. 
and I want to be able to drink and eat what I want. So taking the time to just be mindful and change a few things. This is not to lose weight or anything. It's just for me to reset, be conscious of what I'm putting into my body. So that is the main thing for me for November. That was just UPS. So I just wanted to quickly go and get stuff. Then on social media, because I'm feeling super inspired again and I really want to see if I can stick to a better schedule, try and post. I think I'm going to put a lot of my effort into YouTube. My goal is really to see if I can get 300 subscribers. I know that's small and that's okay, but I'm excited to see if I can do this and see if anyone is really liking watching my videos. Right now I have 240, one subscribers so by the end of november i really want to see if i can get 300 another goal and i know this is for consistency i need to make sure that i'm posting a minimum of four videos i'm going to stick to that i already posted it on tuesday this is going to be an added video i need to film and post next week tuesday's video but i've already created a content plan so i'm feeling very excited about that on tiktok I have a few subscribers. I have, I think, 160. It would be great if I could bump that up to 170. TikTok is a platform that I haven't fully really understood. I definitely want to get better at posting, but I also want to make sure that I can take content that I've posted on Instagram and use it across TikTok and then even YouTube Shorts. That brings me to Instagram. My Instagram account I started back in 2019. I only have 1,500 and I think it's 91 subscribers. It will be so great if I could get 1,600. My content is definitely geared more towards coffee, going out, coffee shops, reviewing coffee. I'm not really reviewing coffee as much. In the past, I was reviewing coffee. I was reviewing cafes, how they would make a flat white because when I moved to San Francisco, it wasn't a option. And every time I would go and order a flat white, I would get a mixed bag of coffees. <laughs> I would get a very different type of coffee. So then I decided to rate those coffee shops. Obviously, I don't want to rate a coffee shop poorly. They're doing their job. They have a business. So I typically don't share bad experiences of coffee shops that I go to just because I know that they're a small business. But let me know if that's something that you do want to see on my Instagram and maybe that's something I can work in. But for now, these are my goals and I am hoping to stick to them. Yearly goals. I just did this because I had initially created a vision board and I already knew that I was going to run a marathon, which I did. I wanted to travel more. The travel mall wasn't in line with what I had envisioned. I wanted to go to Paris. I wanted to go to London. There were other trips that I had planned, but instead I went to South Africa for a few weeks and I got to go to Dubai. So I definitely feel that I have traveled a lot this year and I've been very lucky. Focus on my health and fitness. This is obviously coming in much later, which I'm still trying to do. Practice more self-care. That's definitely something that I am still working on. And then read 50 books. I am, let's say, I think I've read 31. Done. So that is 19 to go. Let's see. I don't know if I will get to 19, but maybe we could get close to it. On the social media side of things, YouTube, by the end of the year, maybe I can get to 500 subscribers. That would be super cool. And then on Instagram, this is a very ambitious goal and I definitely need to make sure that I am prepping and planning a better content strategy. I wanna see if I can get to 2000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be great. I've kind of just been in a lull and I see subscribers come and go and I need to figure out, you know, what is working, what isn't working. And then TikTok, a very little, 200 still trying to figure that one out but let's see this will be fun maybe i can kind of hit them all or hit one or maybe i don't hit any and that's okay and i will start january 2024 with a clean slate yearly reflections we will do this in january so this is a really cool template and then other op other pages that i'm using like i said 
travels. I am busy planning trips for next year for Paris and still need to plan to get my visa, flight tickets, book hotel. Don't need to shop yet because we're only planning on going in April. So these last things we won't need, but it's really cool. So I can like change these thumbnails. I can put track my expenses and I can even do a journal. I do have a Google Doc of kind of all the things to do. I'm creating an itinerary because I want to obviously go there with a plan. I want to go to all the coffee shops. I want to go to all the cute stores. I want to hopefully buy my Chanel because that is what I've been wanting to get since I turned 30 and I just haven't been able to achieve that. I've got the money saved. It's something that I've always wanted and hopefully I can achieve that goal next year. For the rest of the year, I'm going to try and see what else I'm going to be using. I've also implemented a weekly planner. I need to figure out if I should just combine that and I might just remove like wishlist. Wishlist is quite cool if I really wanted to kind of create a vision board of what I want. And I guess that's very similar to what I initially started off with, my vision board, which I will again insert here. I need to find a screenshot of it. And add it in right now i'm just focusing on these monthly goals work and financial are separate i will share with you next time in a month how i've done with my personal and social media goals i think i might add a few things and i'll share that too i'm happy with this i don't want to overbear myself just because i'm starting 11 months into the year with actually having dedicated goals i've done a lot this year i've gone through a lot and I'm proud of myself and that makes me happy. That makes me feel good and I am content with what I've done so far in 2023. I am gonna wrap this up. It is a very long reset vlog. I am going to try and see if I can fit a quick exercise. I need to pack. I'm off to Florida for a work trip, so I have a few things to do. I also need to edit this video and get it uploaded for you before I go. So hopefully you enjoyed this and let me know what you have planned for November. If you don't have anything planned, that's okay. It's been a year. I will chat to you all soon. Have a beautiful week ahead and I will see you on Tuesday with a new video.